for a U.S. Weekly Queen Camilla has convinced the king to freeze out Prince Harry. This is the new, uh, the real reason they can't make up. Says uh, how Queen Camilla came between King Charles and Prince Harry, and will things ever change? And uh, you know, a family fight. The family fight all the time. And that's when the third party should stay out of it. Camilla is not Harry's mother. Camilla should stay out of it. Let them think, let them, uh, you know, sort things out. It's none of their business. It's none of the people's business. They are all royals family. And Camilla should stay out of it. And then the, 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 the media should stay out of it. And then the people should stay out of it. Because... When the family fight, everybody hurt. Do you think uh, uh, King Charles didn't think about that for one second? He's thinking he's hurting. Everybody's hurting. Even though, you know, they, they, they showing a brave faces between William and uh, the same with Kate. She needs to stay away. She needs to stay out of it. And uh, let them uh, sort things out between Harry, Charles, and William. Let them take care of things. Let them negotiate with things. Because, you know, when, when your family, uh, it's different feeling. When, when they fight, they, they, uh, they, 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 they cannot forget. They think about it every second of their lives, even though they show brave uh, faces and they're happy. They're not. They're not happy. And if they want the royal family, if you guys want royal family to be happy, let them resolve their own issues and everybody else stay out of it because it's none of anybody's business not Megan's business not Camilla's business not Kate's business let King Charles Prince Harry and Prince William sit down together and negotiate the uh, solution you know everybody keep fueling it's like they want to have the face trying to make uh, to make face to get the uh, things from from the king by hurting you know the the rest of the member royal family they were laughing and you know making fun out of Meghan and it's uh, and you know Harry and and uh, William and Charles they're blood related they're not gonna feel good about all these things they do that's my opinion because I experienced that and then when I fought with my family and every second of the day I'm thinking about them it hurts so badly but and then once we talk talk over about it and we're done we just move on and back to normal and it should be like that so US Weekly wrote Camilla is whispering in, in the king's ear behind the scenes she's Charles fierce uh, fiercest ally and deeply influ influential one, especially when it comes to, to Charles' strained relationship with his younger son, Prince Harry, according to source to sources. Camilla, 76, has been imploring Charles, 75, to keep his distance from Harry, and it's putting the king in a difficult position. Exactly, Camilla, you know, needs need to stay out of it. Let them resolve the, their own uh, issues between father and son. Camilla dislikes Harry and doesn't want Charles to get stressed. No, it's not about, uh, you know, he, do you think he's not stressed that he's not talking to Harry? He is stressed not talking to his own son. He is going to be so happy if he gets to be able to talk to his own son. So uh, Camilla the one makes uh, everything uh, difficult for King Charles, in my opinion. And uh, so, she tries to limit interactions, says, says a source. Charles, meanwhile, in holding out hope of salvaging their relationship, but is hugely co conflicted about Harry, has hurt William and Camilla so much. It's not a one-sided situation, no notes an insider. Harry has also been hurt. Why Harry and William hate Camilla? Royal expert and the king, the life of Charles III uh, author Christopher Anderson, tells us both Harry and William have always resented Camilla, adding they pleaded with their father not to marry her and only grudgingly agreed to go along with the uh, charade 
if Charles kept his promise not to not to make her queen, that title would have been would have gone to Diana if Camilla hadn't broken up their parents' marriage. When Charles bro- broke that promise, uh, William and Harry felt betrayed. William is important too. Behind Camilla, William, 41, who's been preoccupied caring for his wife, Princess Kate, 42, as she battles cancer, is the second most important person in Char- Charles' life, Camilla and William. Uh, the people he re- relies on most, says Anderson. In May, Charles appeared to those sides when Buckingham Palace announced that William would be made colonel in chief of the Army Air Corps, despite Harry serving with the unit in Afghanistan. According to the first source, even those close to Charles and Camilla felt it was very pointed that Charles did the military handover to Wills that Harry should have had. After the couple's press interviews, William and Kate couldn't believe or understand how Harry and Meghan expect to make up with them, says second source. Get over it. It's like, you know, everybody have thin skin. Just get over it. That's, that's family. Family fight. Just get over it and make up. Uh, you'll be you'll be very, very happy. And forget, put, that, put all that in the past and just move on and uh, have a happy life. You know, it's not worth it grudging Uh, angry, angry, you know, for the rest of your life. It's not worth it. So that's my opinion. So uh, continues, noting that Kate, noting that Kate's been forced to take the high road, she can respond, it's a monarchy rule not to. No, Kate, she uses the uh, the media to, uh, to talk, you know, she doesn't talk directly by herself. But she kind of did, you know, when, some, when the kids asking, you know, about the Megan, And Harry, and she was like, next, you know, she, she was so so rude, so mean, you know. And these kids, you know, just genuinely asking about uh, Megan, and she was like, next. You know, right there, you can tell that she's not a, a nice person to, uh, to William's brother. Kate was 100% not to be people who discuss it, and it was Charles and Camilla, the second source previously told us Kate was sad she got pulled into it, into it because she had nothing to do with it. Well, you know what? She didn't even talk during the uh, the Commonwealth, uh, you know, uh, event. She didn't even talk to Meghan and Harry. She just ignored them. It's like she didn't even know them. That's, that's her brother-in-law and sister-in-law, but she ignored them. That's not cool. That's, that's my opinion.